I'm Ian at KarateMart.com. And I'm Corbin at KarateMart.com. Yeah. So, as people are expecting now, we're going to unveil... The winners! The winners of... See, we've had two contests going on these last two weeks. One was on Facebook, one was on... YouTube. On YouTube. What we wanted people on Facebook to, to do is name these blue kunai. We wanted people on YouTube to name these red ones. Oh, gosh. Sharp. So you name the knife, and then the winners, we get two winners, we got to kind of split up the winnings a little bit. Uh, they get some of the stuff that we threw in our throwing weapons video. Now, you probably still have a scar from the throwing knife video. You sliced your hand open with a throwing card, I remember. I got a new finger from that. We threw some good stuff. Yeah, yeah, we got some of these silver throwing star. You okay? You yeah. got that? They're sharp. Yeah, don't hurt yourself, buddy. Got the silver throwing star, the the bat throwers. These are perfectly good. We just threw them and so we can't really sell them because somebody would get them and go, these look like they've been on your warehouse floor. Yeah. Right? But we were just throwing them at cardboard, so they're not like... Yeah, yeah. Oh, There's maybe, maybe like a little bit of denting on some of the corners. Uh, these joker throwing cards, they're missing one and one of the, one of the edges is dull. But otherwise, perfectly good. Um, I would throw it. We did throw it. Is that how we lost one of them? We got the the throwing spike with tassels. We used to have three when we were throwing them. I have the third one in my office. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't know where it came from. I found it on the floor behind some stuff. I was like, where did this random throwing spike come from? It came from your hand when you well. tried very hard to throw it at cardboard. And then also the rainbow throwing star set. That's Ian's favorite. Yeah, there's two that are the same in this set, which is why we couldn't sell it. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, well, so what do we go with? Well, that's gonna come to the end. We're the end. Gonna like, oh, we're gonna. Yeah, we're, gonna, we're just yeah. gonna piddle around and talk about all these different names. We have a list here of all of the the entries. We got some good names too. That's a fun stuff. Uh, I had some favorites. Uh, someone had suggested uh, that we call the red ones. Blood Kunai, and in almost the same breath, suggested that we call the blue ones the Crip Kunai, but that you should only wear the blue ones on the left side, yeah, because that's the Crip side. Kind of a matching sort of naming scheme. That would be a good idea, although we want to try to avoid endorsements, which is why I had to throw out the the Cool Ranch kunai. The Cool Ranch made me laugh. The Cool Ranch for the for the blue ones. That's a clever name. Uh, Could have gone along with Spicy Nacho for the red ones, mm -hmm. but we didn't want Frito Lay to sue us. So I noticed there, especially with the red ones, there were certain themes that people kept drawing on. Like yeah, yeah. Blood was a really common. A lot of one. blood. A lot of fire. Blood Ravagers. Blood Reaper. Blood Drop Kunai, mm -hmm. uh, which sounds too much like the one drop theory, but that's another that's another debate for another day. Mm -hmm. Bloody Razor in the Bathtub, Blood Dragon Kunai, Blood Dragon Kunai. Oh, that's twice. Okay. Dragon was another theme. Dragon was another dragon. Dragon Claw, theme. Dragon's Wrath, Red Dragon Tooth Kunai. The Deadly Red Ninja Dragon. Deadly Dragon. Red Wasp Ninja Hunters, I thought was pretty clever. I did, I like that one. You imagine a red wasp, it's like giant red stinger, right? And then ninja, oh, ninjas are pretty cool, uh, but it's unclear whether, is it a red wasp ninja and it's a hunter? Is it a red wasp that, that, that's hunting red wasp ninjas? Is it a ninja or a ninja hunter? I'm so confused. I was overthinking this a lot. I uh, I liked Bloody Razor in the bathtub. That brought to mind maybe a John Waters film. I'm a man, Muffy. I don't think I could feel comfortable selling a throwing knife that reminded me of a desperate teenager seeking attention. Or just a desperately large man seeking hair removal. A hairy man with a very, very dull razor. Oh, here's another razor one, blue razor kunai. If you have a blue razor, something's wrong. Speaking of obscure references, uh, Red Sun Rising is not only the name of a techno song from the early 2000s, but also is a rock band that's had two albums released. Red Sun Rising. Red Sun Rising, yeah, they have two albums, they have a number of EPs. 
They uh, are popular enough to have a Wikipedia page, but not popular enough that anybody watching this has actually heard of them. I was kind of drawn to the Phoenix Kunai too, but that's because we live in Phoenix. Yeah, weird Phoenix, and that's I was I was thinking the Risen same thing. Risen from that's, the flames of the. Us. And it says all the Kunai that we sell are Phoenix Kunai. Yes, ab absolutely. Some of these had alliteration, which I thought was pretty clever. Slaughterhouse slicers made me. Yes, yeah, yes. yeah. And then it made me think of these in you know someone using these perhaps to create. Fillets from a tenderloin. Mm -hmm. I thought of the slaughterhouse and I started, mmm, pork chops and, yeah. and fillets and ribeyes and T-bones, porterhouse, all So of you're it. saying you like the one that reminded you of food. Don't put that on the, don't put that on the internet. There's also the Sunset Slaughter Kunai. That was, that had nice alliteration. Mm -hmm. The uh, Ninja the X, I don't know why that. So you'll notice that the person who suggested Ninja the X. It's also named Ninja the X. His name is Ninja the X. And he said, this is the best name ever, which it feels kind of generic. But at the same time, for the blue ones, uh, somebody suggested the Cobalt Lancer throwing knives. And I was really attracted to that name. And then I realized that it's because it's very similar to my name, Corbin Lance. It is very similar to your name. This one was interesting, and I'll read it from our friend Cameron. Okay. Also, the same gentleman who gave us uh, Cobalt Lancer throwing knives. Sapphire carotid ventilation tools of death and woe for all who behold pulse correction sticks. That's, see, the problem with that is these aren't sticks. Throwing that one out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This one, this one was interesting. The electric lightning bolt kunai. I, I just kind of imagined sort of some sort of Photoshop effect where you lighten a room or something. I think he meant electric lightning. Like the meteorological effect. Oh, oh, okay. Well, that was Angela. I'm guessing. Now, see, I've recently done some electrical upgrades at my home, and so that made me think of literal electricity and all the near death experiences I've had. Digging in my breaker box. Well, then that probably explains. Yeah, there was somebody who suggested red lighting throwing spike. Yeah, I think they were trying to name the, these. Well, look, here's some more alliteration for the blue ones. The Adam and Admiral. Oh! Adam and Admiral Kunai. Oh, and the Lapis Throwing Lancets. Ah. That's kind of clever. I like clever. Yeah. That same person, though, they had Obsidian Sapphire Kunai. Obsidian and Sapphire are two different materials. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, Sapphire Storm Kunai. That's mm -hmm. another one. That's also like, that would be like a superhero name. Oh, I like Royal Void, too. The problem with Royal Void is it, it just, like, the word void makes me think about ultimate the end, the, 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 Yeah. Like, like what's behind us. I, it, we do these videos in a void. Yeah, and it just kind of feels weird to, like, have a set of throwing knives that reminds you of the ultimate meaninglessness of the universe. What did you think of Steel Blue Shivs? It made me think of blue steel. Shiv makes me think of prison. Ooh. Shiv is like you make that out of a spoon handle. Yeah, or a toothbrush, or a piece of chain link fence, or, you know, really anything. There were a number of people who they thought they'd include sort of Japanese terms in this. Yeah, there was a lot of that. The Shinku Wraith. Shinku means crimson. Mafia Pasta said it means crimson. But I wanted to look it up because, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm an amateur linguist. Shinku can mean crimson. It can also mean hardship. Hardship. As well as promotion, close friendship, deep plowing, intimacy, invasion, midnight, sincerity, and pickle. Well, that's a lot. When I think of deep hardship, I think of crushing student loan debt. Yeah, and then somebody else also suggested Chima Mire no Phantomu, which means blooded phantom. But I didn't know if that was blooded as in like it's a phantom covered in blood. Or a phantom that's had all its blood removed. Or if it's a phantom that's like experienced. That movie Bright on Netflix where the orc is blooded. Now he's a real orc. Or like a tick after it eats could be blooded. So is it filled or covered with blood? I'm confused. There's also Azure Bifurcation Kunai. Bifurcation is one of my 
favorite words. Is it really? Does bifurcation make you think of cutting, or does it make you think when of When I think like... of bifurcated, I, I always imagine a splitting or opening. Not necessarily with a knife. It makes me think of math. It's a thing in math. Too. Yeah, it is a thing in math. Let me tell you something. I don't like math. Crimson Carvers. Oh, that's the alliteration, right? Yeah, yeah. This team help here has got Blue Thunder. Oh my gosh. Okay, so here's the thing with Blue Thunder. There was um, a laxative, uh, magnesium citrate, that came in a blue bottle. It was very effective, but it went, yeah, people refer to it colloquially as Blue Thunder. So it reminds you of... Of an incredibly powerful laxative. That you and your friends back in college called Blue Thunder. Blue Thunder on the college commissary, yes. Well, if we're going to go with weird inferences, I probably would want to rule out Scarlet Fire Kunai because Scarlet Fire sounds like an STD. Uh, and it killed the boy in the Velveteen Rabbit. The boy in the Velveteen Rabbit died of an STD? That's twisted. No, of Scarlet Fever. Oh, yeah, there's also the Scarlet Letter. We're not going to talk about your mom, though. Crimsonite sounds like a delicious snack for vampires. It sounds like a insulating material for home improvement. Oh, we put some Crimsonite behind the walls. It really keeps out the drafts. Sanguine Lacerator Kunai. Uh, it sounds like a specialty drink that's available on Tuesdays at the Vampire Bar. That sounds like somebody popped open their thesaurus. Fireblade, that sounds like a piece of computer hardware. Oh, we put that new Fireblade card in? Oh my god, my FPS are like way up there now. All right, so who's the winner for the red one? This is gonna be Blood Fang Kunai from Malicious. Thank you, Malicious. Yeah, Malicious. Malicious, you've won with Blood Fang Kunai. You yeah. decided that was the best name? And we're gonna send you some of this stuff. I don't even some know. of this stuff. We're gonna what send you, we... We're sending you a box. We're sending you a DM and we're gonna get your address. We're gonna send you a bunch of stuff. You entered this contest because you want some free throwing stuff. We're gonna give you some free Hook throwing you stuff. Hook you up. Yeah. Who won the blue ones? The blue ones, Justin Lai, Midnight Storm Kunai. See, and here's the thing with Justin Lai, Justin Lai, my man. He tried like half a dozen or ten different names. He was throwing it out there, coming up with new stuff. Spitballing stuff against the wall, seeing what stuck, and one of them did stick. And for that, sir, you are a winner. Congratulations! Congratulations! You're a winner, winner. for the online contest. You guys are winners. There's a big internet out there, and you won. Yeah, the chances of that are infinitesimal. Unless you only start from the people who participated. Then your chances were, were pretty good. Especially That's pretty good, yeah. Yeah, especially if you... Oh my gosh, Justin, you're like half of the, this page here. Good job, Justin. I appreciate it. Yeah, and then also, if you're seeing this video, then these objects are up on the site. So there's links, links in, the, in the description, right? Links, there's links in the description. Yeah, so you can click on them, check them out. There are descriptions for these, and they have, I don't know. For those of you who don't know, I also write product descriptions for Karate Mart. Sometimes my descriptions are a little extra. You know what? Sometimes a little extra is good, like ranch. Cool ranch. I like a little extra. Dennis Goldsmith gets an honorable mention. Uh, we should probably send him a consolation prize because Cool Ranch Kunai got a laugh out of everybody who read it. Let's pick an honorable mention for the YouTube. An honorable mention for YouTube is going to be Slaughterhouse Slicers. <laughs> Kaden Brower. How we'll, we get a hold we'll, of have, we'll have someone up for a message him. I think Kaden the woman? So here's what we'll do. The, the runner-ups will send you Something. We'll send you these. Kaden, you get the red ones. Have you ever the red ones? Yeah. Um, cool Ranch, Dennis. Dennis Goldsmith. <laughs> With the blue ones. You could have some new blue ones. Cool Ranch. <laughs> I dig it. Look at how generous we are. So thanks for watching this video. Uh, if you like what we do, then... Comment, subscribe, Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, uh, YouTube, all that stuff. Click share, pick some people and share it. We have more contests and stuff coming up. I don't have anything in mind. We'll come but, up with something. Yeah, we'll come up with something. Thanks for watching! Thanks for watching!